Your job as a web design agency is to make your clients look good. Their digital presence is a big deal. And if you're doing that well, which you should be, then you've got your work cut out for you, which means multiple projects, tight deadlines, diverse client requirements, and the constant need for seamless collaboration. Managing all these aspects efficiently is a Herculean task, which is why you should be charging top dollar for your services. But what if there was a way to empower teams, streamline workflows, and elevate client satisfaction all in one place? Well, the good news is that such a solution exists. With Wix Studio's workflow and collaboration features, the days of scattered files, endless email threads, and disjointed team collabs are over. Welcome to a unified platform where every tool, every feature is designed with you, agencies and pro freelancers in mind, turning chaos into harmony and complexity into simplicity. Let's dive in and see how all this works. Hey, I'm Brad Hussey, and I've been in love with the brand new Wix Studio no-code web creation platform. In fact, I've jumped headfirst into Studio's design, creativity, architecture, and responsive design capabilities already on this channel. So make sure to check out this playlist at the end of this video. Today, it's all about streamlining workflows and collaboration. Let's get into it. This is the brand new Wix Studio workspace where you're gonna be spending a lot of time when you're building projects, in between projects, reviewing old projects, collaborating with your team and your clients, and so much more. So right here is your workspace. You're gonna start on the Discover tab. The Discover tab is where you can check out the tutorials, updates, and inspiration to create client projects at scale. So right here, they've got a really nice Wix Studio crash course. All right, let's check out the Sites tab right here. This is gonna be all of your sites. You can view and manage all of your sites in one place, whether it's your own personal projects, your portfolios, or more importantly, your client projects, the people you're working with. You can filter things down by the types of projects, by the types of sites, everything like that. And you can see it, you can go in, you can, you can select the site, you can edit the site, go into the dashboard. There's a ton that you can do just right here. This is great. Now, also, we're gonna jump over into the custom templates here on this tab. This is where you can create custom templates to use for your client projects. This is exclusive for Wix Studio. So this is super, super cool. Huge request that people, partners have had for so long. Can we create templates in Wix Studio? So yes, you can. You can create a new template right here. You can customize the design based on a site that you've already built. You know, you can go ahead, create a nice site. Custom apps, this is a really cool thing. You can create and manage custom apps to reuse in client projects and sell in the app market. This is amazing. This is gonna really be a big game changer for the whole Wix partner marketplace where you can download them and install them into your own sites. Now, if you are a creator or you are a creative or you're an engineer or a programmer and you have really interesting or cool ideas, you can also see the different sort of requests that people have. Maybe someone really wants a certain type of app or they're really frustrated that there's no solution for X, Y, or Z. You can go in, swoop in, come to the rescue, build that, add it to the app marketplace, put a price tag on it, and boom, there you go. You're selling your sawdust and making money off of your creations and the things that you create. Marketplace, now this is cool. You can grow your client base in the marketplace. I've interviewed a number of Wix partners who are in the marketplace and getting tons of leads and work just from the Wix marketplace. This is where you can manage your team, right here under the team settings. You can invite teammates, you can manage their roles, and so much more. And then of course, any settings about your workspace and your business. Okay, so I wanna show you the collaboration features at a glance in Wix Studio. This is amazing. When you are working on projects with other people, like another designer or a partner or a client even, or maybe a subcontracted freelancer or micro agency, you need to be able to collaborate. And in the past, when you do collaboration, it's a little tricky because you can step on each other's toes really easily. And in the web development world, a lot of the time you'd have to use like GitHub and Git repositories and you need to like do pushes and commits and pulls and forks and branches and the stuff that you got to do in order to collaborate and not step on each other's toes. I don't understand why it has to be so difficult. But anyway, that problem has been solved with this. So they got custom roles and permissions. You can define who does what across sites by tailoring access 
for every contributor and client. So let's say you have a client and you want to really restrict what it is they can see and touch, you could do that. In fact, you can even give them access to content mode, which I'll show you in just a little bit here. Now, let's say you're working with a freelancer who happens to be a freelance copywriter. Well, you can give them access only to the content, to the CMS, to the content, to certain pages, to certain segments of pages. It's perfect. If you want to do some side by side creation, this is really cool. So you can go live faster by designing, coding and editing pages in tandem on sections, elements at the same time, simultaneously on the canvas. Let me show you in this window here. I've got I'm signed in on one Wix Studio account and over here I'm signed in on another Wix Studio account, the same site. I've got two collaborators here. You can see here it's Brad Hussey and then designer buddy. This means you can work in tandem. So you can also invite other people. You can add an admin, a co-owner, manager, website viewer, commenter, CMS. It's all here. You can do whatever you want. You can create custom roles, send them the invite, work together, and you can see who's working on what. So let's say, for example, I'm here and I'm the I'm creating the architecture and the content. So let's see, I'll click on this text. Boost your natural beauty. You can see over here on Designer Buddy's screen that Brad Hussey is currently working on it. OK, so I can go and change that. And you can see immediately on the screen for Designer Buddy, it will be updated so I can see in tandem whether I'm working in the same office or across the world. Now, let's say I'm Designer Buddy and I'm over here and I actually want to change a few things. What's interesting, actually, is it says you don't have permission to use this feature. So I might not be able to, based on my permissions for Designer Buddy, not be able to change the design. And that's smart. And now finally, there's the on canvas comments. This is where you can tag your team for their thoughts, filter comments and invite clients to review in real time. To keep things moving. So this is really cool. It's contextual. You could say, hey, what do you think about this button? Let's try it. I'm going to click this as designer buddy and I want to leave a comment right here in the floating bar. And I'm going to say, hey, bright side. What do you think about this button here? You can see I've got a notification here. Oh, designer buddy mentioned you on the home page. Let's view that thread. We're going to open it up. And boom, right here. Hey, Brightside, what do you think about this button here? Cool. I can mark it as resolved. All right, so check this out. Reusable assets for quick fire creation. Save time with custom templates, widgets, reusable sections, and design libraries that can be shared with your team across sites. This is cool. So let's just dive in and see what that's all about. Right here in this site that we were just playing around with, the uh, Orchidee Fashion site. This on the about page, you've got this really cool section that has a nice collage style layout. And of course, it's responsive. But what I want to do is I want to actually say, you know what? I like this section here and I want to save this as a reusable asset. So I'm going to just click these three dots here in the floating bar, floating panel, uh, you know, this piece here, and I'm going to save it as an asset. And I'm going to call this detail collage. And what I could do is I could add it to my just generic saved assets bucket, which is just it's got no category. Or if I was like working on a site or a template or I want a specific library of specific components, I can save it in that and create a new library. I can call it whatever I want or I can just save it into my saved assets, which is sometimes what I like to do. Now, you wonder where that is in the plus icon up here in the left side panel. You can go to assets and it's right here under saved assets. And you can see right here, detail collage. Now these three dots here, I can rename it. I can add it to a library if I further created a library. Like for example, I've got a Brad Hussey brand. I've got UI components, uh, which has no UI components right now. Maybe we should add a UI component to my UI components library. So I'm going to go add asset to library. Boom, UI components, save that. And let's say I just, you know, I have more UI components that I like. I can take that and I can, I can even share this library. So let's go here. So I got the UI components library. What I can do is I can turn on sharing and I can enter email addresses of teammates that I want to be able to edit this library or I can copy the link and share it. Now, let's say I save that asset. I wanted to create a new page. I'm going to go ahead and start under my UI components. Take this detailed collage, replace the section. Boom. It's right there. Oh, yeah. Templates. Check this out. So let's create our first template. It's very simple. Let's say I want to take this uh, uh, block framing site that I've just been playing around with. And let's just say block frame template. I can create a template based off of a site that I've already designed. Boom. There it is. Sites using this template zero. You can even see how many sites are using your templates. Very cool. Let's use the template. What it's going to do 
is that's gonna fire up a new site, boom, and there it is. So I've just got this basic wireframed block frame site that I set up in Wix Studio. I saved it as a template and let's say I really like that layout and I wanna use that as a starting point. Well, I can do that. Obviously, I don't know how much help this specific layout or template is gonna be, um, how useful it's gonna be to me, but that's the idea. Let's say I created a really cool photography site. I can go ahead, turn that photography site into a template and it's not going to transfer over all of the, the content. So for example, if you have content specific to your client, but their hours of operation, their location, their, their photos, you know, certain things aren't gonna transfer over to the template, which you don't want. You want it to be a little bit more uh, white labeled than generic, but maintain the style, the layout, the responsive styles, you know, even the typography, the colors, that'll transfer over into a template like this so you can get up and running real quick rather than starting from scratch and trying to replicate the whole thing. Okay, so you gotta check this out. You can save a ton of time on client back and forth with the new Wix Studio Client Kit, Automated Reports, and Content Mode. Let me show you each three of these. So the Client Kit is how you can create a seamless handover by adding tutorials, guides, and more to client dashboards. Let me just show you. So here's a client dashboard right here as you would see it. So. The client would look at it like this. Obviously, they might see a little bit different because I'm logged in as the owner of this specific site, but the client would see something here called the client kit. Now I can get started and create a new client kit. This is where you can add helpful resources to help them to succeed as you hand the site over or to show them how to use their dashboard, how to update content. I mean, it's totally up to you. It's a personalized resource kit. So let's just add some resources. I can go ahead and add resources that I've already saved in my like uh, documents here. So I already have like uh, like a video about how to give feedback or logos or other videos here, tutorials. I can also go to the explore section here and videos from Wix Studio. So if you wanna show your clients how to manage their bookings, you could do that. You can also say, I want them to see and how to, you know, how to use their e-com. Um, you know, let's just grab a couple of these. We're gonna add that to the kit. Boom, that's gonna be right here in the kit. I'm also gonna add a couple more resources. Let's say I wanna add the logo and the favicon here. Boom, add that to the kit. Here it is. And you can rename it to make it a little more clear. There we go. You can add your agency details here. You can update it under your business info and then you can add the client here. So no one is set as a client here, but I can add them as a site collaborator, give them the client role permissions that I've set up, invite them, and then they will show up here as the client, then I can go ahead and save that. The client will see something like this, the client dashboard with the personalized resource kit with everything they need to succeed. Now, automated reports is how you can expand your services by setting up monthly insight reports directly emailed to your clients. So this is really neat under client success, client reports. This is where you can add client reports, share key stats and insights in automated emails, brand the report with your logo and custom messaging, and then set it once and reports will send monthly to the clients you choose. So this is great for a value add in your services, where you don't have to manually think about these things, it will automatically send. I'm all about the automation. This is gonna be great. So you can go ahead and you can see an example of a client report here. This is what they'd see in their email. Your logo, and you can put your own header here, your September analytics highlight for, you know, brownhousey.ca. Your key stats, site sessions, bookings, total sales, monthly spotlight right here. An insider tip, you can probably share little details and tips, online store stats, scheduling stats, blog stats, like this is valuable information, uh, concentrated and sent to them so they can see that you're working for them and you're helping them win. You know, they wanna be your client for life. Very cool, you can add recipients, so you could choose who your recipient's gonna be, and then you can go ahead, review, confirm, boom, send it, it's just automatic, it's happening there. So if you got five, 10, 20, 30 clients happening, you can, choose all them and say, send them all their analytics monthly. Here's my little template and you're going to look awesome. Now content mode, I got to show you this. You can let clients confidently update their content without avoiding accidental design changes. Like, I mean, we've all had that where you have a client, you give them access to the editor or you give them a little bit too much, too many privileges and they go ahead and get their grubby fingers all over it and ruin the whole thing. They make you look really bad. So check this out in the dashboard for your client site, okay? You can go ahead and give your client access to something called content mode, where they can update text, media, and links. So not full mode, which is permission-based editing. So you can give them you can give them permissions to go into the full mode and then you can block what they have access to. We're in the editor, it looks like, but watch. I can't drag and drop. I can't dink around. I can't ruin things. I can go responsive. 
I can see what's good, what's weird, what I don't like, but I can't wreck anything. Isn't it lovely? You can leave comments. That's good. Okay. Now granted the comments, I can leave a section. I can leave comments on sections. So say for example, I'm like, Ooh, I'm a client and I'm resizing and I go, Oh, that button doesn't look good when I resize this down to maybe something like say hell. I don't like that. So I'm going to say, Hey, right side. I don't like how this button resizes at smaller desktop views. Boom. That comment's going to be there. Okay. And then I'll see that. I'll see that my client, you know, made a note of something. Oh, okay. I'll fix that. But let me just get back to the content mode here. When I select a section, I can see that I have access to a section background, which is just white, a title and a button with a link and maybe some other settings. So let's just see here in the title. So let's just change this. Let's say Brad Hussey is a designer, creator, and educator. Or if I want to be like, you know, I wanted to be cute about it. Brad Hussey is a father, husband, designer, creator, and educator. A little bit of a mouthful, but you can see how quickly that updated there. And so that's there. That's on the site. I can go ahead and publish that and that'll be there. Okay. Now, if I want to say, you know what, I, I'm going to make that button just say go. There it is. You can change the link and I can link it to the page. I can link it to a web address an anchor somewhere like home. I want to go to the top of the page. I want to go to the bottom of the page. Boom. I can go ahead and preview that and see if I've made that change. Go and I'll just go down to the bottom of the page. Sweet. Can I change things? Ooh, I can change the images, add alt text, or I can adjust it. I can do some like image editing here. This image, maybe the client's like, ah, oh, that image. I don't have my mustache. I really need my mustache in that picture. Well, then you can go ahead and you can upload your mustache picture. And if that wasn't enough, Wix Studio hits a home run with these 10 additional business solutions tailored for any and every business. Like Ecom, you can create online stores with custom product pages, dynamic catalog sorting, and a smooth checkout process, all backed by an open platform capabilities and APIs. Bookings, you can set up an online scheduling system to manage bookings, payment schedules, and staff efficiently, along with flexible pricing plans for services. Events. Organize any event online or in person with personalized event pages, invites, seating maps, and tools to boost attendance. Restaurants. I've talked about restaurants a few times in this video. Maybe we should be launching a restaurant agency. You can launch restaurant sites with online ordering, reservations, custom menus, and engaging marketing campaigns like gift cards and loyalty programs. Blogs. We can't forget about blogs. You can enhance your client's SEO and build an online community with a blog. Assign multiple writers, categorize topics, and introduce subscription pricing plans. Multilingual sites. We did a video a while back about Editor X's multilingual feature. Well, Wix Studio, no different and even better now. You can go global with a click, translating client sites into over 180 languages while keeping the design intact. Very cool. Payments. You can offer a secure payment gateway, accepting major payment methods with options for shipping, tax, and installments. Custom payment plans. You can create Pricing plans to sell packages, memberships, and subscriptions, enabling one-time or recurring payments for exclusive content or services. Member sites. You can build a community on your site, letting visitors create accounts. You can track orders and access exclusive content. A CRM. Boost lead conversion with contact forms, live chat, and a unified inbox to manage projects, funnels, and team tasks. Now, if this doesn't convince you to ditch your old website building platform, I don't know what will. So dive in, get your hands dirty and see for yourself. Once you try Wix Studio, you'll get it. In a world that's constantly evolving, having a tool that evolves with it is priceless. That's why I love Wix Studio. But remember, while tools evolve, so must we. And that's exactly where the creative crew comes into play. Join us in our free community of more than 2,100 passionate designers, agency owners, and creatives who are continuously learning, networking, and elevating their skills every single week. Keep designing, keep creating, and keep growing. I'll see you over there on the next set of videos where I discuss and showcase all the cool features 
the new Wix Studio has to offer. Don't miss it.